And if you're a kid, please ask your parents to help you with this experiment. Don't burn your house down. What would you do today if you could do anything? <sighs> I'd take a long nap. When we get goats, can I, can I have one of the babies? Yeah. Yay. Oh, whoops. I can get my own breakfast milk from it. What about everybody else? You'll get that from the other goats. Oh. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you going to milk it yourself? Mm -hmm. We're going to go see you about have, some goats you'll soon. You'll have to come behind me to make sure I don't leave any. Just the first couple of times. You're, you're a pretty meticulous little girl. I think you'll do a great job. Good job. Are you going to be left-handed? You're mm. always using that left hand. You have a long history of grandmothers and great-grandmothers and uncles with left hands, so we'll see. Here's some behind-the-scenes vlogging. Arthur's working on lists of things we need to get done around here and how to turn those into interesting and exciting vlog episodes. Somehow I miraculously got both boys napping at the same time. I don't know how I did that today, but man, it make a difference in my day and in my school schedule what do you think about subtraction not so much huh I bet you'll be glad you know how to subtract though one day <laughs> I'm making a fake little pile of bubbles in the sink well enjoy your pie you're gonna let me taste it when you're done right yeah I need you want me to find some round blue toys? Where are they? Those aren't round. I know. Yeah. Fine. So why do you think they're falling straight through the bubbles instead of sitting on the top? Because they're grabbing. Oh, gravity? <laughs> That's a very good answer. What do you think another answer could be? I don't know. Ask Racy, she does a lot of school because these are heavier than bubbles. Do you guys want to do a really cool science experiment? Yeah. Finish your math and we're going to do the coolest science experiment ever. What is it? What is it's a surprise. Oh. What? So sometimes a subtraction equation can actually look like an addition equation, but you're still what? What are you doing right here? That's right, and that's what we do in subtraction. Baby's sleeping. He fell back asleep again. What a sweetie. I know. This is so sweet. I love him. She told me she had a coffee shop, so I asked for a cappuccino. Yum, yum. Thank you. You're really good at that. I'm going to drink it. <laughs> Did I get any foam on my face? Yeah. Oh. oh. I am making my first official gluten-free bread dish. Like actually taking something that's typically not gluten-free and making it gluten-free. So I'm making blueberry muffins to go with our dinner. Yummy. We're gonna have potato soup and acorn squash and sausage and kale. What kind of flour are you using? No, honestly, I just bought a mix because I don't feel real confident yet. So it's this um, Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour. A friend of mine recommended it, so I thought I'd try it out. And I will actually let you guys know how this turns out, and if it turns out well, I will link this in the description below this video so you can get some for yourself. I'm out here between the barns with the kids, and we're going to show you a really neat science experiment. We've never done this. This is widely known as the black snake experiment. I do think we're gonna inspire some curiosity today and spark these kids' imaginations, which I think in and of itself is a worthy thing. Here's what you need for this experiment. And if you're a kid, please ask your parents to help you with this experiment. Don't burn your house down. This involves some fire and make sure that you have a fire extinguisher or a hose on hand. We have both handy. 
The first step is to make a little mountain in your sand. Can I do that? Yeah, make a little mountain. Me too. Me too. Then make a small depression in the top. Next, put four tablespoons of sugar in your mixing bowl. Next, put one tablespoon of baking soda into the mixing bowl. Mix your sugar and baking soda. Saturate your sand with your fuel of choice. And kids probably shouldn't do this part. At least denatured alcohol is pretty toxic. And you don't want to get it all over you or on you at all, really. Spoon your sugar and baking soda mix into your depression in the sand. Does it look like a burning marshmallow? It does look like a burning marshmallow, doesn't it? It's actually really similar to a burnt marshmallow if you think about it. Because it's crystallized sugar, which yep. is basically what that is, plus carbon dioxide bubbles. It's exciting. It seemed to have either stopped growing or it's just growing really slowly, so I'm just gonna mess with it a little bit. I'm gonna kick that top piece off and just see what it does. It's starting to grow back up again. Sure, you can touch the top piece. Here you go. What does that feel like? A burned marshmallow. Oh, cool. Is it crumbly? It's Veterans Day here in the United States, and I want to give a quick shout out to all of our veterans. No matter what you or I think about the United States involvement in different wars throughout the years, I just want to say thank you for giving up a big portion of your lives in service to our country. Having kids, I can only imagine what it would be like to leave a family behind, especially to go overseas. My dad's dad was in Korea when my dad was born. And having had several kids, I know that is a real sacrifice. Brianna's dad, Brianna's granddad, my granddad, and Brianna's brothers were all in the military. So here it is. Looks and tastes just like a muffin. The texture's a little bit different. A little bit grainy, I would say, but it's really not that different. Not enough to hardly even notice. It even says you can make biscuits with that flour, so I'm gonna have to try that and See how it goes and I will of course let you guys know if they turn out well. I'll even show them to you. <laughs> and Justice came running into the kitchen. He said, come, come, look, it's in our room. And I just wanted to show you guys what our three-year-old came to get us to show us. 